Christmas is our favorite time of year, and of course, going to Disney makes it even more magical. One of our favorite ways to celebrate Christmas is a very merry time cruise on Disney Cruise Line. A merry time cruise adds that extra magic to an already magical trip. Stay tuned for everything you don't want to miss on your very merry time cruise. Now, they do have a few new things for the Disney merry time season this year. On the first night of all very merry time sailings, guests will gather around the three deck tall tree in the ship's atrium for a new tree lighting ceremony. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse will be there for a time-honored Disney tradition at sea. They will typically have a family of the day that will get chosen at the port. That family actually gets to board first and sometimes will help light the Christmas tree. It is really beautiful when everything just lights up. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and Goofy will invite guests to sing along to classic holiday tunes, followed by a countdown that will not only make the tree merry and bright, but will also introduce the guest of honor for the cruise, Santa Claus. They've also got some new 2024 Merry Time itineraries. We'll get into those as well. And this year for 2023, they have a new holiday deck show. This is another brand new experience on these special sailings. This is a high energy deck party thrown by Mickey and Minnie. This will be up on the upper decks that will have lots of characters in their new holiday attire. We'll feature favorite Disney friends as they celebrate friendship, love, and family with a fresh mix of classic and original holiday songs during this special time of year. So what is all the fun on a very merry time cruise you are going to see and feel the holiday magic there will be christmas decorations everywhere really beautiful garland of course a 24 foot christmas tree they are so beautiful and a life-size gingerbread house and yes you can smell that gingerbread the characters will be dressed in their holiday attire i absolutely love seeing them around the ship of course there will be meet and greets with them as well and you have those extra characters that aren't usually there santa and mrs claus will both make appearances along with carolers, garlands, poinsettias, shimmering lights, and of course, a whole lot of Disney magic. The life-size gingerbread house will be there all throughout the cruise. They will build it at the beginning of the merry time season. They are so impressive in person. And it really makes the atrium smell delicious. They will have the Disney characters in their holiday finest. I absolutely love seeing all of the characters in their holiday attire. Make sure you get some footage of that. It's so fun. The merry time cruises are really festive. The one thing I will say is that we spend a lot of time preparing for cruises and with the merry time cruise I have found that it's better to spend a little bit less time just because it's the holidays and you want to enjoy the holidays and the first time we did a merry time cruise I kind of forgot about enjoying the holidays at home and just enjoyed them on the cruise now if we do a merry time cruise we just do extra holiday so that was good to learn not a big deal obviously but good to be aware of along with characters in their holiday attire you will also have Santa Claus sightings. There will be a winter wonderland ball with Santa and Mrs. Claus. It's a big celebration in the atrium. The characters will be there. Of course, they're going to be singing holiday tunes. And if you're really lucky, Anna and Elsa will show up and add a little bit more magic to the festivities with snowfall in the atrium. They will also have a Santa Claus meet and greet. I've seen a lot of families get dressed up in matching pajamas and do photos with Santa. I think that's a really cute idea, a wonderful keepsake of course and it's kind of fun to see everybody's pajamas the family pajamas can get pretty creative and of course you will see mrs claus as well she will be at santa's winter wonderland ball they also will have story time with mrs claus mrs claus will be right there in front of the christmas tree with a whole bunch of tiny humans at her feet while she reads them stories of course us adults are allowed to i just kind of stand in the back and listen it really is just a wonderful memory one of my favorite merry time moments it's so fun seeing how much they enjoy mrs claus reading to them. It really is just one of those you have to be there moments. Now of course with the ship all dressed up for the holidays the islands have to be dressed up too. If you're going on a maritime cruise that is visiting Disney Cruise Line's private island Castaway Key you will notice that it has been transformed. As soon as you step off the ship you will see this huge Christmas tree and Mr. and Mrs. Snowman is there in their island attire. They even dress up the tram with some antlers to look like Rudolph and we don't know too much about this yet but the second private island, Disney's Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point, will be transformed into a wonderland of holiday cheer. I think we'll have some more updates fairly soon, since that island 
will be a part of the 2024 Maritime Cruise schedule. We'll get back to the activities in a minute, but since we're here, this year, 2023 featured itineraries departing from San Diego, Port Canaveral, and for the first time from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In 2024, they will have new itineraries, cruising from Fort Lauderdale to the Bahamas or the Western Caribbean, also cruising from Port Canaveral or Galveston to the Western Caribbean. And in addition, of course, they will have Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point turned into that Winter Wonderland. Now, some of you may be wondering what's going on with the Wonder. The Wonder does not have any maritime sailings this year or next year. That is because she will be in Australia during the maritime season. They celebrate Christmas in July in Australia. I have heard that they also celebrated in December, which I think is awesome. But as of right now, the 2023 and 2024 maritime cruises will not be happening on the Disney Wonder, but they will be on all of the other ships. Okay, back to the fun activities. In addition to the Wonderland Ball, the story time with Mrs. Claus, the meet and greets with Santa, they're also going to have a Deck the Deck tropical holiday party. This is where this huge candy cane comes out. They do candy cane limbo, dancing and games, lots of characters in their holiday attire. This is a lot of fun. Of course, all of these maritime events are fun, especially if you're traveling with little ones, but it is magical for those of any age. And pro tip here, you've got to download that Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. You will use it for everything. It is also very handy to connect to it when you get to the port while you're waiting to go onto the ship. Ideally, you'll be able to see what the activities are, when they are, give them a little heart, go back and look through. It'll help you plan your day and make sure you don't miss those Christmas activities. I always say go on the cruise, plan what you're going to plan, but make sure you have time to rest. And I will say that even more with a merry time cruise. Also, you are most likely going to be on the run because you've got your regular cruise activities in addition to the holiday activities. Activities. And sometimes they combine. Like there's a brand new deck party this year that we're going to talk about. So with Maritime Cruises in particular, a little more attention to the schedule so you make sure and get those activities in. And some will be on there more than once. I mark them all down. That way we can figure it out kind of as we go. They will also have themed activities and crafts for kids, for the family, for adults. Things like decorating stockings, creating festive Christmas cards. Sometimes they'll have a holiday scavenger hunt on the ship and they typically will have a cookie decorating activity as well. This used to be a gingerbread house activity. In the last few years, it has changed to a gingerbread man cookie activity, which is probably a better idea because all of those gingerbread houses had to be thrown away. You can't take them off the ship. I feel like cookies is probably a better idea. But anyway, you gotta get your gingerbread on. And of course, they're gonna have some holiday parties in the youth clubs and holiday merchandise. I highly, highly, highly recommend a dated ornament from your marriage time cruise and we get a dated mug usually too i absolutely love their merry time merchandise i try to stay pretty conservative with just an ornament and a mug a couple of other things specific to the merry time cruises they will have popcorn buckets that will be merry time themed they will typically have a stateroom holiday package with a blanket and other stuff they kind of change it year to year that's something that you can get through onboard gifts before your cruise those sell out in the past those went on sale about a month before the cruise i think they're coming out a little bit earlier than that now so just check on board gifts once in a while and see if they have it there the holiday stay room package is one that we typically get because i just love christmas and disney cruise line it's the best combo and if you are actually traveling for christmas december 24th or 25th on christmas day they will have a specific menu just for that day this is from disney cruise line blog from 2021 and shows you what they would have now again this is specifically on christmas day they will have cookies on christmas eve and they'll have cocoa and a special holiday towel animal as well and actually while you're traveling through the whole merry time season there is usually some type of cocoa and cookies in the atrium as well i believe that's going to go along with the holiday ball or the meet and greet maybe both sometimes it's just out there randomly just keep your eyes open i've also heard that they will have caroling with the kids and the crew which i think is really cute i have not seen this happen but they will have carolers throughout the cruise they're dressed up in some really classic holiday attire singing holiday songs. This group was in here. We had just finished dinner and we're walking by and stopped to enjoy a little bit of caroling. I think that's a really fun thing on the ships as well. You don't really see caroling anymore, so it really is fun to experience that on the ship. It's just a different, unique activity. Well, it's not even an activity. It's a unique experience. There we go. One other fun thing they do is they will have some special cocktails and treats specifically for the holidays. For the maritime sailings, they are not going to have any specific menus, but they will have have 
themed cocktails and treats throughout the cruise. One of the more popular ones is a Disney Cruise Christmas Cookie Cocktail, Bailey's Kahlua Peppermint Schnapps and Ice Cream. That's definitely festive. If you enjoy these videos, please share them with a friend of your cruise group. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad you're here to share in the Disney fun. If you haven't seen them yet, go check out our two recent videos, 13 Things Banned on Disney Cruise Ships and Ranking Every Disney Cruise Ship.